Yo, I wanna talk about all pass filters. So I've got this basic saw sound here. With a little filter envelope on it, nothing too special. And I just want to make it, it sound a bit more squishy. So what I can use for this is something um, uh, known as an all pass filter, which is essentially a filter that only changes phase and it doesn't change frequency response. So if we look at an EQ curve analyzer here, uh, let's just quickly visualize this here. You'll be able to see if we just visualize the phase. You can see we get this kind of phase shift here, but the frequency response stays the same. And um, if we only have one of these, in this case, created with a multiband effect. This is a very subtle effect. Like, I uh, wouldn't blame you if you can't hear it at all. Uh, but what we can start doing is stacking these. Maybe it's starting to get a little more obvious, so let's duplicate these once more and, like, really stacking these a ton. You can hear this sound kind of kind of squishiness start happening. Let's do this once more just to make it really extreme. See we've got a ton of all pass filters in here now. You get this kind of lasery wet squishiness. So this is the principle behind plugins like um, Disperser by Kilohertz. They're kind of the first ones that turned this into a plugin. Amount literally just increases the number of all pass filters. I think it goes up to 32 here. So 32 kind of multiband splits with nothing happening in them, I guess. Um, and pinch is kind of the, the crossover sharpness, I think. So like the resonance. You can hear we get the same kind of squishiness from this really useful thing, especially if we um, then feed this into a distortion, it really has a specific kind of sound, or into an OTT that works too, so... You can hear the difference it makes kind of becomes much larger if we have it before a saturator or let's put it into an OTT here. Um, alternative to this would be the free Diopsa plugin. Same kind of thing, also adds squishiness and this can go up to way more filter stages like we can turn off save mode and go up to 300 or something. So this um this plugin is free. Um you can also create this effect as I said by sort of stacking multiband effects or um something like OTTs with a zero amount. The grid also has all pass filters. So if we go in here um and see we've got this here, the power count is kind of the, the pinch and, and kilohertz. So we could um just you know, do the same thing here, just stack a load of these and create really interesting kind of a squishiness and really combining this with distortions or something is really well said. Great for bases, great for that kind of stuff. I'm sure you heard of this before. I just uh, wanted to include it in this series because it's just such a, such a popular... And you can see we, if we just use a few, it's, it's quite subtle still. But like we can really exaggerate this, just stacking. You know, you can push this as far as you want. Uh, all pass filter, great way to kind of add laseriness, squishiness, um, wetness, that kind of stuff to our sound. So uh, that's it for number three or something, number four. See you in the next one. Cheers.